ladies and gentlemen, as I said, uh, my name is Wiley Drake. This is the Wiley Drake Show. We're coming to you early today. We normally come on. If I come on over, brother. That's all right. No, okay. All right. We're coming to you early today because the session is now over. Uh, come on over, brother, and be on television with me. All right. You got to be my cameraman too now. You got to be my cameraman, so you got to make sure you're right in the camera correctly. That see that red square? That's your camera. That's your audience. Tell them who you are and where you're from. Uh, William Kennedy, attorney out of Riverside, California. I'm and you're enjoying Wiley's radical fight for Jesus. Amen. And uh, tell us, I looked at your email a little while ago, and it says lawyers who fight. Is that right? No, that is correct. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know on this television show and on the Wiley Drake show, on the Congressional Prayer Conference, we go to D.C. every month to fight. And we're looking, I just told you, uh, you. this is an answer to prayer, brother, you don't know this, but last week I was on my show, I was talking about a fellow that I met in the courthouse, and I lost his card, I wish I could find him again. And I said, you guys pray for me that I'll find him. I don't remember his name, if I saw him again, I'd remember him, but uh, I believe he's a fighting lawyer, and those are few and far between. And I said, y'all pray that I'll be able to find him. Had no idea you were going to be at this convention. I came here as a Southern Baptist pastor and messenger. But lo and behold, God answered my prayer. I met Mr. Kennedy again. Tell our listening audience, if they're looking for a lawyer that fights, how they can get in touch with you. Well, my name is William Kennedy. I'm in Riverside, California. 951-784-8920. Or you can look us up on the internet of lawyersfight.com. I come from an Irish boxing family, and my uncle always said, have a good left hook. Amen. We've Amen. got that for our clients. Amen. And ladies and gentlemen, you know we've started recently a new feature on the Wiley Drake Show, taking our cases to the court of public opinion. But I am still convinced that there's some of those cases we need to go back. The uh, Fogarty Hardwick case is the one you need to look up. Fogarty Hardwick. Okay. Fogarty Hardwick case. Uh, Sean McMillan took it to court. Everybody said, you're nuts. You can't fight City Hall. Uh, I recommended that the family share or settle. They didn't settle. And the Supreme Court of the United States gave them $10.1 million. That's a lawyer that will fight as well. Well, I want those of you out in viewing land to know that about seven years ago, I met Pastor Drake as we both argued in front of the Fullerton uh, City Council. And at that time, he mentioned RELUPA. I have to confess, I didn't know a thing about that law, <laughs> but it's thanks to him I spent hours and hours researching that, and now we can beat City Hall. We can. We can Amen. beat City Hall, Amen. and there's no more zoning out of churches. Amen. God Amen. bless you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you there's a case down in San Diego right now that they're going after a pastor down there. Uh, and uh, some of the folks are fighting for them. I'll send you some email on that too. All right, but they're doing it on the on the uh, conditional use I'll, permit. I'll leave you to your program. All Thank right, you. brother. Have God bless you. Have a great All one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wiley Drake Show. I represent Southern Baptists because I'm a Southern Baptist pastor. I'm live with you now as the Congressional Prayer Conference uh, from Washington D.C. Chairman, and uh, I'm going to try to find some uh, folk uh, from, uh, hey brother, come on over, come on over. I want you on TV, this is what, now come on, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, Tammy, no, no, you got to do, a, you gotta do a, a, a commercial for your church. I'm not good at that, I don't have a church right now. Oh, all right, all right, well, Holly, come you, in. Though. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wiley Drake, and we're on early tonight because the Kate, the the course of things were over. Ron, come over here a minute. I got the wrong Okay, but I don't even want to be. I want you to be on TV with me. Well, okay. Well, you're live on TV. Just I see it. Tell, I see tell, it. tell our audience, tell our audience there who you are, where you're from. Do a commercial for your church and your work for the Lord. Well, I'm Ron Harvey. I'm from Southern California, and I'm at uh, Magnolia Avenue Baptist Church. Been there about 14 years, and uh, serve as uh, the uh, executive pastor and uh, minister of education. Um, and so uh, my ministry there for the last 14 years has been involved pretty much in discipling, mentoring, and uh, been a challenge, been, uh, been probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done. But, uh, God is blessing us, and uh, we're trying to reach our, our corner of the vineyard. 
and um, see uh, that part of Riverside come to Christ. So, Amen. And yeah. folks, y'all know that uh, several years ago, before Ron was there, uh, my daughter was at Magnolia. That's right. yeah. My daughter was on staff there at Magnolia, had a great ministry there, ended up being an adjunct professor across the street mm -hmm. at uh, Cal Baptist, and we thank the Lord for that. Ron, thank you so much. God Good bless see you. you. Bill. Have a day. Okay. Take it easy. All right. All right, Ron Harvey, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get some other people here on with us if we can just convince them to come over and be on television. Brother, come here a minute. All right, all right, you got to run. All right, they're, they're hungry, so they got to get out and get back to And uh, we're going to see if we can get some other pastor. Pastor, come here a minute, please. I'm Wiley Gray. I know you. You know me. Yeah. Okay. I also serve as a, uh, the chairman and the vice president of Fairfax. And I do a live on television. We're live on television. Yeah, right but I'm not interested. You don't want to go on TV. Okay. All right. No, no. She wants to be a TV star. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try to get some more folks to come on if they will. And uh, we would encourage you to uh, uh, continue to pray with us and pray for us. Southern Baptist, ladies and gentlemen, are meeting here in Clovis. California. Clovis is near Fresno. Come over here and while I was here, y'all have all heard that I was in a wreck. I had a wreck. I ran into a car in front of me and my car was damaged and I needed a ride. I didn't even know if they had taxis in this town. Come over here, my sister. Okay. This is an angel that I met here in Clovis because when I was stranded, didn't have a car, car was broke, she came to the hotel and picked me up and brought me to church. Sure did. Tell our listening audience who you are. I'm Valerie Hendricks, a proud member of Clovis Hills Community Church, and glad to help Pastor Drake in his hour of need. And <laughs> thank you. Now, tell us what you do at the church. I know you go to church, but what do you do at the church? I um, help answer phones. Okay. And I am on the Women of Purpose Bible Study Leadership Team. Amen. And I'll be the candy fairy at the Harvest Festival. All right. Harvest Festival, you'll be the candy fairy. All right. Tell us your name again. Valerie Hendricks. Valerie Hendricks. God bless you, my dear sister. When you get to your computer, if you'll go to that website, put in Wiley Drake Show, you'll see this on your computer. Perfect. Anything else you'd like to say to our listening audience, Southern Baptist or not, but what would you like to tell them? How long have you been a Christian? Oh, actually, I was... Born in a Christian home. But look at them now, so because. Okay, was born in a Christian home. Have known the Lord my whole life, and just really been able to rely on Him and feel His presence from college forward. Amen. Tell us about your family. Are you married, single, children, grandchildren, yes, whatever? I have Tell been, us the whole story. Been married to a wonderful man for 17 years who knows and fears the Lord. And, and what's his name? His name is Kent. Say hi to your husband. Hi, babe. <laughs> I have two wonderful children, a 13-year-old son and an 11-year-old daughter, and just feel very blessed that the Lord has loaned them to me and just excited to see what he does with them. Amen. Boy, I remember when my kids were 11 and 13, and that's where I got their gray hair. <laughs> I've got plenty of those. God bless you. Anything else you'd like to tell us about your pastor, your church, your family, anything else you'd like to say? This is going worldwide, by the way, so anything you say, the whole world will hear. I'd like to say take time to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters Amen. because in the last year, um, I know it may sound odd, but I've had the honor and the privilege to be completely broken through a loss of a dear friend. Mm. And it's been exciting to see what the Holy Spirit's done in putting me back together. And the prayer that was sent my way is um, the only thing that allowed the Holy Spirit to put me back together. And I feel I'm a better person, Amen. a better Christian, Amen. and a better prayer warrior because of it so take time to pray take time to pray amen god bless you thank you so much thank you have a great evening and you thank too. you for being on the wiley drake show and you can see yourself there whenever you'd like to thank you thank all right you. god bless you you want to be on with me for a minute yes hold on. okay <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen again my name is wiley drake and i am at uh, clovis california and i've got to get the name of the church so i don't forget it um I had one of their cards. There it is. Clovis Hills Community Church is the church we're having our Southern Baptist Convention at. You may wonder why we come together. We come together to fellowship. 
We come together to challenge one another. We come together to take care of business. Today, we as Southern Baptists, from Southern California to Northern California, all over the state of California, we today approved a budget of $10 million. Ladies, come on over and tell me who you are, where you're from, and what church you're from. I'm Wiley Drake. Oh, I know you. I pastor a church in Buena Park. And who are you? I'm Anna Laura. Okay, and I have also the privilege to be the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference out of Washington, D.C. And at 5 o'clock every day, I do a live show. I'm on early today because the session broke early. Come on around over here where you can get on camera. Come over here. you got to get close to me. There you go. Now, tell our listening audience, that's your camera, that's your microphone. Tell, your, tell our audience who you are, where you're from. I'm Cindy Cook, and I'm a messenger from First Baptist Church, Solvang, California. Solvang, California, Swedish country. My wife was from a Swedish family, and we used to make at least one trek a year yeah. to Solvang. Yes. We used to like to go up to uh, Anderson's and go up and enjoy yes. all the great food. Her mom and her grandparents were all from Sweden, came here to this country, and so we always had to go to Solvang to get in touch with the sweet, <laughs> Swedish roots. Yes. All right, how long have you lived there? Uh, well, actually, my husband's a director of missions, and so my church membership is there, but I live further up the coast oh, okay. in the uh, so, town of Oceano, and we serve the Pacific Association and uh, try to do uh, church starting and uh, revitalization on the central coast of California. And the okay, borders. now, many of my audience are Southern Baptists because I make no apologies about bragging about what Southern Baptists do and what we do and what I do in my little church down in Buena Park, California, near Knott's Beer Farm, folks. Don't forget, come to Knott's Beer Farm, spend a lot of money. We, <laughs> we need the money in Buena Park. But uh, a lot of my folks that listen to me are Southern Baptists. They know about Southern Baptists. But tell our listening audience what a director of missions is. You're the wife of a director of missions in the California Southern Baptist Convention. You mentioned a little bit about what you all do, but tell our listening audience, what does a, 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 a DOM do? Well, we encourage the pastors and the churches to be serious about the gospel of Jesus Christ to... Um, lead people to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ primarily, but we also want to encourage the pastors and the lay people in those churches Amen. to be faithful to the calling that God has given them and to uh, reproduce by uh, planting other churches and uh, touching uh, people who are hurting with with the love of God. Amen. Now, I know that I have some listeners in Solvang, and I know that some of them go to church, but some of them follow me because I'm from Washington, D.C. with the Congressional Prayer Conference. Some of them watch my program not because they're Baptist, yes. but because they like my political aspirations yes. and so forth. And some of them may not have a church that live in the Solvang area. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want her to tell you if you live in the Solvang area, What's the name of the church, the name of the pastor, and how do our audience find it? Uh, the church is First Baptist Church of Solvang, located at 2667 Jannon Way in Solvang. And the pastor is Pastor Richard Smitley. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the address again of the church? 2667 Jannon Way. Solving. All right, and you want to give the church number out, or do you have a website? Um, or? The website is fbcsolvane.org. fbcsolvane.org. Now, when you get home, you tell your pastor that you did a worldwide television uh, advertisement for the church I and know. for the pastor, and you tell him to go right there put in Wiley Drake Show, and he can see you, and you'll be able to see okay, this wonderful. on your laptop and on your computer right. at home. It'll be there for prosperity. All right. What God bless thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You just did it. Same thing you're going to do. Yeah. Come over here. Come over here. My name is Wiley Drake. And I'm a pastor. I'm a Southern Baptist pastor. Like your time. Been a Southern Baptist since 1965. So I've been around a while. But come on over here close to me. I'm not getting fresh with you. But you see, there's our TV audience. 
That's your camera. That's your microphone. We're broadcasting right now on the Wiley Drake Show around the world. I want to ask my three famous Wiley questions. Number one, who are you? Number two, where are you from? Now that means town, church, etc. And number three, why are you in Clovis? There's your camera, there's your audience. My name is Casey Chavers. I'm from Lifeway Fellowship in Santa Maria, California. I'm in Clovis to attend the California Southern Baptist Convention. And where do you go to church? Lifeway Fellowship. Lifeway Fellowship. Now, many of my audience are Southern Baptists, and many of them know that we have a, the old Baptist bookstore for us old folks. Yes. Uh, is now Lifeway. Yes. Is there a connection, uh, or is it just coincidental that your church is called Lifeway and our publishing organization is called Lifeway, or do you know? Well, it's not coincidence. We are not affiliated with Lifeway Resources other than we're both Southern Baptist. Correct. However, when we decided to change our name from First Southern Baptist to Lifeway Fellowship, we chose Lifeway because it is a recognizable name among Amen. Southern Baptist Amen. 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 peoples. And so if someone, for example, came in from out of town and was looking for a Southern Baptist church, the name Lifeway might tip them that Draw we were attention. Southern Baptist. Amen. Now, tell us the name of your town again. Santa Maria, California. Santa Maria is next to what? Close to where? Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. My, my, I have a daughter that lives in Highland, so she's not too far from you. A little further south. A little further south from where you're at. Uh, she goes to Rob Zinn's church, Emmanuel Baptist Church. In fact, she's on staff there. But anyway, if they come to Santa Maria and they're looking for a church, obviously they could look up Lifeway. Where is the church located? Who's the pastor? When do you meet and do a commercial for your church? Well, we are located at 2477 Blosser. Uh, excuse me, not Blosser. It's uh, what is it, the street? <laughs> <laughs> People get mad at me sometimes because I put them on the spot. Skyway. They say, I know where the church is. So, okay. 2477 Skyway Boulevard Skyway in Santa Bo Maria. Okay, in Santa Maria. Our All pastor right. is Daniel Castles. Okay. We meet on Sunday morning. We have Lifeway Cafe at 9 o'clock. All right. We have Bible study at 9.30. We have worship service at 11. Amen. And right now we're studying the Truth Project at 6 o'clock on Sunday evening. All right, very good. And is there a web page or a phone number you'd like to give out if people would like to check the church out? There is a web page. I don't know the address off the top of my head. Okay, well, that's okay. They could probably look it up, Google it, Lifeway in Santa Maria, and find it. And it's Thank there. You. Thank you so much. You go Thank home you. and tell your pastor that you did a worldwide advertisement for your church. Okay. And for him. Now, what is his name again? Daniel Castles. Daniel Castles. Wasn't he, his name mentioned in the... Yes, he was nominated for vice president. Okay, he was nominated for vice president. I thought I recognized that name, but I wasn't sure. Yes. God bless you, and thank you for being a part of the Wiley Drake Show. Now, when you get home and you get your laptop out or you get your iPod or your iPhone, if you go to Ustream.tv, at the very top of it, do you do Facebook? Yes. You know, at the top of Facebook, there's that little bubble where you type in search or whatever. Mm -hmm. At the top of Ustream.tv, there's a little bubble that says channel. The channel we're on right now is Wiley Drake Show. So you type that in. No dashes, no dots, no caps, just like you see it. Put it in there, and you'll see yourself on TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> and tell your pastor he can see you on as well. God Thank bless you very you. much. You Thank too. You. Hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. Thank you. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Buena Park. But originally? Originally, I'm from Arkansas. Arkansas. Well, northern Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I used to pastor a church. This is not exaggerating. I used to pastor a church, and when we got our electric bill, it said Arklatex uh, no. Utilities. Because where we live was on the corner of Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas, right in the corner. And I had people that actually attended my church from Louisiana, from Arkansas, and from Texas, right down there in East Texas. So we were there for quite some time. There's one town that actually is both in Arkansas and Texas. Texarkana. Texarkana. That's right. That's right. That's right. Both of them. The Texarkana. State line goes right down the middle of the town. Goes right down the middle of the town. <laughs> That's right. Texarkana. And you know one other thing that a lot of people, maybe Christians, sometimes don't know about Texarkana. 
Texarkana at one time, many years ago, was known as Little Chicago. Oh, I didn't know that. All the gangsters were running from the law and they busted Al Capone and all the gangsters took off to Texarkana. And for a long time, and there's still a few of the family that live in Texarkana. And the did reason they catch one of the biggies in Texarkana? They did. That's where he'd been living for years. Yeah. The reason they did that is because that part of the country, back in the olden days, the border was a place to run. If you got in trouble in Texas, you run to Arkansas. Got in trouble in Arkansas, you run to Texas. So Texarkana, you had both of them right in the same town. So the gangsters from Chicago that had to leave town came to Texarkana and set up offices and shops and everything in Texarkana. A little Texarkana trivia. Come on over. You haven't been on TV with me yet. All right. You, you got to be my cameraman. See, I can't, I, I can't afford a cameraman to travel with me, so I have to let the, the, the victim be the cameraman. So you got to make sure you're on camera right there. So get there where you're on camera. And uh, same three questions. Who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here? Okay, my name is Anna Laura, and I am from Lompoc, California. Lompoc. I am a messenger, and I am from Iglesia Bautista Familia de Dios. It's a Spanish ministry. Amen. We have a Spanish ministry at our church in Buena Park, and I cannot remember the name of it. That's terrible. I'm sorry, Pastor Jerry. I can't say it anyway because it's in Spanish, but, but I try. But we have a great Hispanic group that meets. Um, they're not Southern Baptists, even though they meet in a Southern Baptist church. Yeah. They're Pentecostal. Okay. They're a little louder than we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although not a whole lot, not a whole lot, because we're, we're I, I say, people say, well, what are y'all? You're not Pentecostal, you're Baptist. I say, I'm a Baptocostal. <laughs> Tell us again the name of your church. It's Iglesia Bautista Familia de Dios. And what city? In Lompoc, California. Lompoc. Tell my listening audience, because I can't remember. <laughs> Where is Lompoc? I've forgotten. What's um, it near? Lompoc is in the county of Santa Barbara. It's oh, near okay. Santa Maria, okay. about 20 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. I have a daughter that lives in near Santa Barbara in Highland. Okay. And so I, I, I thought I'd recognize Lompoc a little bit, because once in a while I go out there to spoil my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we've traveled around, going up to Airhead and... and uh, in fact, even have driven out to Lompoc a time or two just for a drive. <laughs> beautiful country, beautiful. gorgeous, beautiful country. Tell us your pastor's name. Our pastor's name is uh, Tito Campos, Pastor Tito Campos. Okay, and uh, you tell him, you give him that card, and you mm -hmm. tell him, did I give you a card? Mm -hmm. You give him that card, and you tell him that I would like to have him come on my show. Now, he'll not be on camera unless he comes to Buena Park, okay. but he can call in on that 800 number okay. and do his own commercial for the church. Okay. Absolutely free. doesn't cost him a dime. All he's got to do is call me and say, hey, I'm going to call in at such and such a time. Okay. Call that 800 number and say, hi, my name is, and I pastor at, and do his own commercial. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. God bless you. God bless thank you. you. All right. Okay, we have another card. We're from the same show. Oh, okay. okay. Well, come on, come on over and introduce yourself at least. <laughs> And uh, tell us, tell us who you are. Now you got to be my cameraman, cool. so make sure you're on camera. And uh, tell us your name. Uh, Gabriel Lara. Gabriel. All right. And I have a very good friend that's named Gabriel, but he is not Hispanic. He is African. Uh -oh. <laughs> but uh, uh, are you the pastor there in Lompo? No, I'm just a member. Right now. Just a member right now. All right. Well, God bless you. And uh, was that your wife? No, no that was your wife. wife. Okay. Yes. Well, she's got the card. Look it up. Love to have you watch the show. My show is on at 9 o'clock every morning, Monday through Friday, and 5 p.m. Now, I'm on now because the session was over, and I'm not even supposed to be on the air for another five or seven minutes, but we went on early. And uh, But anything we can do to help your church, anything we can do to help the youth group. One of the things that youth are finding out is it's fun to come on because, see, we could bring a youth group in here with the guitars and sing and put them on worldwide television, oh, okay. and it doesn't cost them a dime. If we start planning a new church. I'm already ministry licensed. So hey, we, all right. All right. So I have a son that is an equal. He's he's not ordained. He's licensed, oh, okay. and uh, he's still working with me at our church now. But. Uh, uh, for those that may not know, we as Baptists have sort of a two-step process. We see the hand of God on men and women, and we license them. 
and then later they go to seminary and get the ordination and so forth. But God bless you, Gabriel, and have oh, a great God time. Bless you too. And uh, she's got my number, yes. email, everything on there. Get in touch with me. If there's anything we can do to help you with an internet television show, let me know. We'll okay. be glad to help Amen. you. Thank, Thank you. you. God, God bless you. God bless you. Have a great Thank day. My pastor, I just called my pastor and told him to come out. Okay, who's your pastor? Daniel Castles. Okay, get him out here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the special edition of the Wiley Drake Show. Special edition.